Come on, would you stand and worship with us? I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb till I met you. Come on, you happy to be here? I was breathing, but not. Alive. All my failures I tried to hide. Oh, it was my tomb till I met you. Oh, you call my name. Father, we continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Jesus. my heart 
Your grace is more Where grace is found Is where you are And where you are Lord, I am praying Holiness is Christ in me Amen Lord, I need you Oh, I need you Every hour I need you My one defense My righteousness Oh God, how I need you Well, this weekend is baptism weekend. We're so excited and even more excited right now to hear little Haddon's story. My name's Haddon, I'm seven, and I'm gonna go to Georgia O'Keeffe Elementary School. I gave my life to Jesus by asking him into my heart. I've been following Jesus for four years. I love Jesus because he, um, he helped me not be afraid and he died on the cross for our sins. God's been teaching me not to be afraid of anything. Our family's Bible verse is, we are, but we are not of those who shrink back in our destroy, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls, Hebrews 10, 39. God is taking care of our family by giving us places to live. You don't have to be old or grown up to be baptized. Today, I'm going public and getting baptized. Well, you just heard Haddon's story, and this is not only a celebration for us as a church, but for me as a dad, getting to baptize my son. So Haddon, because you've given your life to Jesus, you wanna plug your nose? Because you've given your life to Jesus, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brokenness and 
pain is all I know. No, I won't be shaken. No, I won't be shaken. Oh, my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance. Shame no longer has a place to hide, and I am not a captive to the lies. I'm not afraid to leave my past behind, and I won't be shaken. No, I won't be shaken. No, it's my fear doesn't stand a chance. needed that song this morning. How about you? Man, God will give you courage in your greatest time of need. You can stand in him. And uh, boy, I've made a lot of decisions in my life where I've needed God's courage, people to pray for me to stand up in him. Uh, I was in a band called Sanctus Real for 20 years. And uh, about five years ago, I made a really hard decision to step down um, because I felt that God was calling me to live the words and not just sing the words of a song that I had written. Um, you know, my wife, who I've been married to for 20 years, and we have four beautiful kids together. Um, you know, in 2001, Sanctus Real signed a record deal, and my wife, we got married, and we hopped in a van with a bunch of stinky dudes. God bless her soul. And, um, you know, four years we lived an adventure together. And then she became pregnant with our first daughter, Emmy. And she had to go back home, and our dreams were kind of separated. And uh, now I felt this tension between career dreams and family dreams, and how do I be a present husband and a present father? And that tension was so real. Um, the tension was very real when I was driving uh, up towards the south rim of Albuquerque when my wife called me and told me that her water had broke. 
<laughs> and uh, our first child was going to be born. And thank God for the Albuquerque Sun Pour getting me out of here uh, back in the day because I made it home. Uh, but that was the first of many crazy adventures of this life that we shared. And I'll never forget at some point, you know, a few years after being her being home, me being on the road, her just saying, man, I need you. It's like you're here, but you're not here. And I need you to lead me spiritually and emotionally. Be strong for me. I just need you to lead me. And that day, God gave me the grace to not be defensive, but to hear my wife's words. I take him into my heart. And he spoke to me through her. And I put those words into a song called Lead Me. It went on to, to do, go all over the world. And I love hearing the stories of what that song has done. But man, my story, what that song did in my life, it's really crazy. And uh, I've unpacked it out of a four-minute song. I believe that God wants to heal marriages. God wants to heal families. He wants to heal this nation. I believe with all of my heart. And so that's why I'm sharing my Lead Me journey with you. I've actually, I've unpacked it in a book called Lead Me that shares the title of the song. I'll be outside. I'd love to, to get a book for you. I'd love to, to talk to you. And uh, with that, I'm just going to sing the song for you, Lead Me. I hope it ministers to your heart this morning. Here we go. I look around.
Man. Thank you so much, Matt, for being here with us this morning. Thank you guys for singing.